In this video, we'll be looking for editing data. We'll see different options, how to edit a text, edit a function or a formula, how to undo and redo and how to go to a particular area. Let's see those one by one. So I have something written on my Excel screen, Monday to Saturday, Sunday. Now, if I want to replace something, let's see, first I'll go for find. If I, if I want to find something, there are two methods. One is using a shortcut or second is long cut. So I'll use the shortcut using Ctrl F from my keyboard. So once I press Ctrl F, I'll get a dialog box. In this dialog box, I can say I want to find alphabet Y. So in the entire Excel workbook, wherever the alphabet Y comes, it will be showing, it will be displaying. So I can click on find next. You see my cursor is navigated from G2. Now it is on G3, G4, G5 and so on, all these places. So if I want to go back, yeah, find next. So it will keep on finding, so all the places. Now, if I want to replace this alphabet Y with some other alphabet, so I have to use the option as replace or the shortcut method as control H. From here, I can just say as replace, replace option or in case if you don't have the window, so you can use the shortcut as control H from a keyboard and you'll get this dialog box. I want to replace, I want to find out alphabet Y and I want to replace with alphabet G. So I'll select here G option, I'll type here G and I'll click on replace all. The moment I click on replace all, all the alphabets which contains Y alphabet will be replaced with G. So I'll just click on replace all. So you can see Monday DAY is replaced by DAG. Okay. Similarly, all the Y is alphabet replaced by G alphabet. So it, you'll get a message box saying that all done, we made seven replacements and you just click on OK and you can click on close. So this is how you can just replace all the text in this place. Now, if you want to bring it back from G to alphabet Y, how do you do that? Same way, so you can use Ctrl H, that is the shortcut method, but I'll show you the another method, that is long cut method. So in the home tab, you have to go on the right hand side, find and select, and you can select the option as replace. In this replace option, you'll get a dialog box. In this dialog box, you have to find, what you have to find is, you have to find G alphabet, and you have to replace this alphabet with Y. And you have to just click on replace all. So once you click on replace all, you can see this Y is G is replaced with Y and it says you have made 13 replacements. Now these are the seven days. Where are the other one? So I'll just click on OK, click on close. So if you see on the right hand side, it was written as overwriting data. So it has written as overwrite T I N Y. So here also the word is replaced with Y. G is replaced with Y. So this is how you can go for find and replace. Next we have, if you want to overwrite a data or if you want to overwrite or edit a cell, how do you do that? For example, I have this cell Monday in this text. Now if I want to edit the text, what do I do this? By using a mouse, I can just double click on the cell and the cursor blinks. The moment cursor blinks, this area will be grayed out. That means you cannot use either of these functions. So in this Monday, I have double click and the cursor is working on that. So I can just type here and press enter. So this is how you can edit a data. Whereas if you want to overwrite a data, it's very easy as compared to that. You just select the cell and you can start typing and press enter. So you can see the data is overwritten on this place, right? Similarly, if you don't have a mouse, it is very difficult. So that time you can use a shortcut key from a keyboard that is F2. So just keep your cursor in this cell and you can press shortcut key that is F2 and the cursor blinks and the same method. So you can just keep on typing here, press enter. Next we have similarly, if you want to edit a formula or a function, how do you do that? I have written some numbers here that is 10 to 70. Now, if I want to edit a formula or a function, let's see what is the difference first, function and a formula. I'll keep my cursor here and you can see on the home tab, on the right hand side, there's an auto sum. So once you click on auto sum, you can see there's a function which is written equal to sum cell number J1 to J7. And once you press enter, you'll get the answer, which is 280, absolutely correct. But if I want to write a formula for this one, I'll just keep my cursor here and the formula I can design will be equal to 
j1 plus j2 plus j3 plus j4 plus j5 plus j6 plus j7. So I am creating a formula here whereas this is already inbuilt function by Microsoft Excel. So once I press enter, I will get the answer same as 280. So what is the difference? This was saving my time that is a function whereas this one I had to design. Sometimes there are some functions which are not available in Excel. So that time we have to create our own function formula. So we are talking about how to edit a formula or a functions. Editing a formula or a functions that is same method. So if this is a fo formula, I will just double click on this formula and I can just add here 10. So that is editing, press enter. So I will get 290 because I have added here 10. Similarly, if I want to edit a function, I can just double click and just add here 20, enter. So this way I can do that or else if there is one more method, select the cell, do not double click, click on the formula bar and add here any number plus 30, press enter. So you can see here the same options can be used by different method that is editing a formula or a function. Next and the last one which we have is undo and redo. I have done here some adding 10, 20 and 30 numbers. I do not I do not want that. I want to go back. So there are method known as undo and redo. So if I want to go back, I can see on the home tab on the quick access toolbar there is undo option. So I will just click on this undo option and you can see it is 300. If I go for undo option it becomes 280. So that means I am going back to the other place from where I came from. Otherwise if you want to go back forward that means you want to redo that option is you can go for this redo option on the quick access toolbar redo redo. So you can see this changing. If I press undo it will go back. So select this option or any option you can see undo it is going back if you do redo in the function in the formula bar you can see the difference. So that is the difference undo and redo. We have the shortcuts available if you don't have a mouse it's difficult to navigate. I have a shortcut known as Control Z and Control Y. Control Z does the same as undo so I'll press Control Z and you can see the difference. Control Y is for redo Control Y Control Y so that is for redo option so you will go forward. Next one, we have the last which is here given as go to option. The, here it is replaced instead of U2, it is go to. So I will type here go to option. Now, go to option is of very much useful. There are various ways by which you can use. The shortcut key by which you can use go to is control G. So I will press control G from my keyboard and I will get a dialog box. Control G for go to. If I want to go to cell number B5, so I'll type here in B5 in this reference, I'll type here B5. Once I click on OK, right now my cursor is in cell number A7. Once I click on OK, my cursor will come in cell number B5. Similarly, I'll press Ctrl G. If I want to go to cell number H8, I'll just type here H8, click on OK. So my cursor is there in the cell number H8. If you want to go a bit advanced in go to, you can use go to special. For example, if you only want to go to those areas where functions are written, so you can go for advanced go to. So I'll press control G from my keyboard that is go to. If you don't remember the shortcut, you have to use the long cut method. So I'll close this option. Here in the home tab, if you see find and select and there's option given as go to. So in this go to, you'll get the same dialog box. In this dialog box, if you, if you click on the special and if you say you only want to go to functions or formulas wherever they are written, so you can see there is an option written here, formulas and you can click on OK. The moment you click on OK, your cursor will be highlighting those areas where formulas and functions both are written. So if you see carefully, cell number L, cell number L3 and cell number J8, both the cells has formulas and functions. So those areas have been highlighted. So that is all in the find, replace and go to options. So I hope you understood. In this video, we have seen how to edit a formula, function, text and find and replace plus go to. That's all for this video.